What's up guys, Greg here from CarID.com. Welcome back to the shop and today I am really excited because we get to get started on my Ford Bronco build. Now in the last video, we did an in-depth walk around of this truck so we can prioritize what we needed to work on first and that was the suspension. The suspension on this thing, specifically the front coil spring towers are so rotted that it's just not safe to drive. So since we shot that video, I've been ordering parts like crazy. All the stuff that you see here on this bench, we are gonna do a complete suspension overhaul on this thing. Stripping the front and the rear suspension, uh, prepping the frame and doing some rust treatment on the frame, then reassembling everything with all new parts. Everything from our coil spring towers in the front to our radius arm brackets, leaf spring hangers, and we're gonna to top it off with a Skyjacker two inch lift kit with brand new rear leaf spring assemblies. This suspension is gonna be completely overhauled and it's just what we need so we can get this Bronco out on the road and start enjoying it as we build it. So let's get started. Now, you know I said this was bad, but this is what I'm talking about. So this coil front coil spring tower is so rotted out that number one, the front area where you would mount the other front shock for the quad shock setup is completely rotted out, so there's nowhere to even mount it. But this is what makes it so dangerous. This coil spring bucket in the top of the tower is so rusted that we have at least one or maybe two coils like actually protruding through the top. Um, so this could really just bust out um, and come right through the top of the tower at any point in time. So this is why we're replacing this stuff before we're driving it. Now, what makes it difficult is number one, it's an old truck and it's really, really rusted but you'll notice that this tower is actually riveted onto the frame. So all of these have to be uh, cut and grinded off to be able to remove this and the new one's gonna bolt into place. So it's, um, it's a messy and not a necessarily a fun job, but it's gotta get done. Uh, before I even do anything, I'm gonna spray all of this stuff with PV Blaster to hopefully have some of it come out a little bit easier because we gotta remove this coil spring, this one shock, and then we can start cutting things away for this tower. So guys, here's the other area of real concern. Now, you may have saw this in the last video when we had the truck up on the lift, but this is a different angle. Um, this radius arm bracket that bolts the frame is also <laughs> rotted out. Not only are these bushings just shot, but up here, you can see that all the structural integrity of this bracket is just gone, uh, which again, makes it really unsafe. This radius arm uh, stabilizes the front axle, so it can't move back and forth. Um, and this bracket needs to retain its integrity or else this axle can go all over the place. So this is another thing that we're gonna be replacing while it's up in the air. Well, that came out easier than I thought. This is that coil spring retainer. Trying to see if I can loosen it with a breaker bar to start. Oh yeah, beautiful. coming slowly but surely that's it all right we're gonna slowly lower this down always be careful because these springs are under a lot of tension boom all right so there's a lock nut on top of this front shock let me get that guy off first Well, needless to say, this is junk. Man. Okay. Now we are able to crack that loose. And brake fluid, of course, is gonna leak out. We'll have to re-bleed the system after this, but you know what? This truck is so old that 
probably won't hurt to get some fresh fluid in it. All right, lines off. That can come out. And now, as you can see, we're gonna make a bit of a mess here, but it is what it is. All right, guys, now we're gonna cut the factory coil spring tower off. Uh, for this, you're gonna need a grinder. Uh, probably is the best way to do it, and definitely a few cutting wheels. Eye protection is definitely needed for something like this. Uh, even a face shield is really recommended. I don't actually have one, so I'm working with what we got. But be careful if you're doing this at home, sparks are gonna fly. See how it, you can start to see like the actual rivet itself? That's when you know you can probably punch through the frame. There she goes. Let's try this one. That's good. This one, I don't know. There we go. So four main ones are done. Uh, we got two more on the bottom, which are gonna be interesting to get to. And that, my friends, is how it's done. Can we just get a closer look at this? <laughs> oh, see, this wasn't used to be a nut to take that bump stop off. Not anymore. I'll have to pick up another one of those. All right, guys, another problem area in the front suspension of my Bronco uh, is this radius arm bracket that bolts to the frame. This thing is rotted out really bad, so that's gotta come off the frame as well. Uh, we need to replace that. Plus, the bushings are just totally blown out. So I'm gonna unbolt that first by taking off this huge 28 mil nut on the end, um, unbolt the radius arm from the bracket, and then unbolt the bracket from the frame. <laughs> These could just be original. Take a look at that bushing. I would say that's overdue to be replaced, wouldn't you, Cody? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right guys, got everything stripped down. It's now time to clean the frame. Now, I'm not gonna go absolutely crazy because the paint that I'm gonna be using is designed to bond to rust. So it doesn't have to be 100% clean. Just gonna be using a Scotch-Brite pad on a wheel on an electric drill and get this relatively clean. I highly recommend wearing glasses and a mask because dust and dirt and rust is gonna be flying through the air. Let's get started.
All right, guys, front end is torn down. We got the frame cleaned up on either side. This thing is pretty much ready to go. And in the next video, you're going to see us paint the frame with some rust preventative paint. So we'll see you guys next time.